until we um, more or less run out a lot of the information that we are having to track down. Right now, these charges will stand and we'll continue to look at this uh, case um, in all aspects of it. So glad to have you with us here at HLN Now. I'm Christy Paul, and today for Michael Lanos, and we're starting with this story so many of us have continued to share online. The father of that little boy who died in a hot car will likely spend at least the next month in jail. Justin Ross Harris is charged with felony murder and cruelty to children. Harris appeared in court last night. He's being held without bond right now, but police say Harris's 22-month-old son, Cooper, died after being left in the car for seven hours in the hot sun. Harris claims this was a mistake. He forgot to drop him off at daycare before going to work. But the thing is, the daycare is located in the office building where Harris works. Now, Harris has supporters. Someone started a petition on his behalf on change.org. Uh, but if this was a horrible mistake, why a felony murder charge? Is that even appropriate? Let's talk about that with criminal defense attorney Philip Holloway. Um, Philip, thank you for being with us. My pleasure. Right out of the gate, what do you think about the charge? Well, you know, my law practice is right there in Cobb County, and I'm fairly well plugged into this, and it's got really everybody talking, and you've got people on all sides of this thing. The biggest question that everybody asks is, why did they arrest him immediately? Why didn't they wait and do some investigation? Mm -hmm. And I tend to think, absent some compelling reason, to make the arrest right there on the spot, perhaps the better practice might be to investigate first and charge later if necessary, because a good investigator is going to want to take a look at the evidence and follow that evidence to the truth, whatever it may be. Yeah, we don't even have the autopsy of no. the child yet. So it, it seems to be working in reverse here, because so many times something happens and, and they say there's a suspect or there are witnesses and charges may be forthcoming. But in this case, what do you make of the fact that, I mean, do you think that maybe they know something we don't, that they brought these so quickly? Anything's possible, but even if they knew something that, that we don't know, uh, I don't know that it means that they have to make an arrest immediately because they what, what they know could turn out to be inaccurate. You got the case in Virginia, yeah, uh, where where uh, the same day, unfortunately, a small child died, and the police and the prosecutors have said they're going to do a thorough investigation before they make a charging decision. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I wanted to ask you the fact that he was driving home and noticed and, and realized at that point that the child was in the car. So he says, because I think he pulled into a parking lot about two miles from where he works. Does that help his case? Does it give it more credence? Because you'd think if somebody was going to do this intentionally, wouldn't they come out of the parking lot uh, out of work and they'd want people to see right then and there? Well, you hit the nail on the head. It, this case is going to turn on criminal intent or no criminal intent. What right. was in his mind subjectively is going to be the key to this case because unless there's at least criminal negligence, there's no way that you can charge him with a felony, and you've got to have a felony to get to felony murder. And felony mean, and, and the felony means there was intent to harm this child. Well, that would yes. mean there would be at least criminal negligence to get to second degree uh, cruelty to children and then base the felony murder on that. Mere negligence alone could be no crime at all or even possibly a misdemeanor involuntary manslaughter. Okay, we know states are trying to prevent these deaths, obviously. There have been 14 already this year alone, but a new campaign called Look Again was launched in Georgia just a few weeks ago. And in the ad, state leaders and the father of a two-year-old heat stroke victim remind everybody to look again before you leave your vehicle. And there's this PSA called One Decision. Take a look. Yeah. Yeah, I just pulled in at the store, and I've got to grab just a few things, then I'll be home. We can go. Oh, that one just, it just gets at you. But I'm, I'm wondering, from a parental standpoint, do you think there are people that go, I get how you forget it for a second. Just I, you're, like you're on autopilot and you're going to work and you just have a moment where you blank. I, personally, I can conceive of it. I, I can't conceive of how this father must be feeling right now if it was an innocent mistake. But, you know, right. I actually, actually, this happened to me when I was a child, when I was about four years old. I snuck into my mother's station wagon while she went shopping because I didn't want to leave my mommy. And she was shopping for 20 or 30 minutes in the hot July sun in South Georgia. And uh, a few minutes later, and I could have died. So I see how this could happen accidentally. I really do. Mm -hmm. I, I think a lot of people do. And you mentioned a couple of days ago that other toddler left unattended in a, in a car that died in Virginia. 
Uh, the mother, that's her right there, under arrest for felony child negligence. Now, in this case, the two-year-old was left in the car with the window cracked. And when she tried to get out, her head and her neck became trapped between the car's window and the door frame. Again, this was in Virginia. But I'm wondering, why isn't she charged? It's because heartbreaking. It seems like if she left it cracked, maybe she meant for the child to be in there? We don't know. And as I said, they're, they're going to do a complete investigation about all the facts and circumstances before they decide to make an arrest. Mm -hmm. While it might seem implausible or counterintuitive that you don't know your kid's in the back seat, I'm living proof to the fact that it can happen where a mother doesn't know that a child is, is in their car. In the car. Yeah. All right, all right. Well, Philip, thank you so much. Thank we you. appreciate you My being pleasure. here to, to break some of this down for us.